All right, hi there. I'm down here on Bezel Lane. I've been talking to the businesses down here. Um, the police have been down. They've been considering whether to shut the road or not. But the thing is, there's been mixed messages from the businesses. Some of them have wanted the road closed in, and some of them have asked for the road to remain open. Obviously, the business has got to trade. I think, apart from the flooding, the biggest issue's been vehicles going to UPS and some of them haven't been slowing down and it looks, you know, it, that's been quite bad because it's been causing tidal waves and then what's been happening is them tidal waves have been going up and, and into these buildings. Now, if you look at this building here, they've got some flood defences just there. One of the other businesses further up put their flood defences out and sadly someone's stolen them, which is, I think is not uh, very good at all, is it? But this is Bezel Lane again. I think it's the fourth time it's flooded since October. So spoke to Nottinghamshire County Council They've said that they came down here in November and cleared out the gullies and they've said this, the problem is further down with Seven Trent. They've listed a load of agencies that's working on it, but, you know, they just need to get the finger out and get it done quicker, don't they? Because it's affecting a lot of businesses. I mean, look, the, the lads over there, look, from Champion Hire are out clearing, you know, poking all the drains out as much as they can. But they shouldn't have to be doing that, should they? And then you've got the vehicles driving through like this. Like I said, they've got to work, haven't they? But you'll see the tidal wave that comes as they go through. So one of uh, PC Paul has been down here. Um, he's, he got a lift down, actually. I think he's in this lorry. He went down to... Um, he went down to UPS and spoke to the, um, the bosses in there. And I think he's asking if they can ask the drivers to slow down a bit. It looks like he's in this lorry, lorry getting a lift back. Um, say so there's a guy cleaning the drains out look but then up here a lot of these businesses along here you know they're looking at alternative premises so if we lose them from Stapleford because of the flooding uh, so they employ a lot of local people and if they go it's that knock on effect it has because they all use the shops in Stapleford so that wouldn't be happening so it's, it's a bigger picture isn't it so we need people to you know contact your MP um, contact Neil Clark at Nottinghamshire County Council. Contact your county councillors. I know, I know one of them, Councillor John McGrath's been down here talking to businesses this morning. Um, sadly, the other county councillor. Um, nobody's seen him since the elections, but that's not me having a go. Hey, well, hang on. I told the UPS person, the manager, to the drivers. Cool. So you can do, mate. So I don't know if you heard that. The police officer said he spoke to the manager at UPS, who's going to have word of all the drivers and just tell them to go through slow. Because this is what's happening, look. That's, that's what it's doing. And then it goes through the doors of the businesses just behind that van there. And he's going really slowly. So hopefully that message gets out. And, say, and then these guys are doing what they can. But we need, we need you know, proper action needs taken, don't it? It's not fair on the businesses. I'm near the gym here a lot. And l luckily they've been able to save it with some flood defence stuff there. But it's not fair, you know, the guys have invested a lot of money. Especially, especially in the Midlands, I've been told. Um, it's, it's no good if people can't get in there, is there? So we need people to, you know, we need action. We don't need emails being sent back to us. We need some action down here, it needs sorting. All right, take care, everybody.